Hello and welcome everyone. If you have seen my videos, you probably know that I don't really like to ride the bandwagon, which is currently posting about the Rat of the Lake King changes. But having so many videos lately about it, and never seeing people actually talk about one of the really significant changes, I felt like I had to record this video. You see, until Rat of the Lake King, how Deep Wound works is really simple. Every time the warrior crits, it puts a damage over time effect on target that lasts for 12 seconds, that does bleed damage every 3 seconds. Important thing here is that in every application, the game practically removes the ongoing damage over time and reapplies it. If you look at the combat log here, it does about 147 damage each tick and when my warrior crits again before Deep Wound debuff runs out or ticks, as it basically removed the ongoing buff, you can see it also delays the first damage, and damage stays the same about 147. With the Rat of the Licking, how Deep Wounds works has been changed significantly. The duration has been changed to 6 seconds from 12, it ticks every second rather than every 3 seconds, and most importantly, now rather than resetting with each new application, it actually stacks up. At first, you may think that is not a big deal, it is just a tiny bleed but I can guarantee you it is indeed a really big deal. But better than a guarantee from a random guy on internet, I can actually show you. Here is a video of an arms for your dueling. Now let's take a closer look at the damages. Here you see the deep wounds damage after a single crit. Let's see how it goes after a few crits in a row. And this is just one self-buffed PvP-geared Arms Warrior. In the infamous video of Klinda from 2010, which has over 1 million views on YouTube, you can see Deep Wounds ticking for almost 7000 damage each second. Anyways, thanks for watching and have a nice day.